Dogs are a man's best friend, but sadly friendship can come with a cost, because a cute little doggo isn't cheap. And some are even more expensive than average. You won't believe the price of some of these fellas. These are the most expensive dog breeds in the world. Number 20. The Tibetan Mastiff Behold, the Tibetan Mastiff, by and large one of the biggest dog species ever created, and that's saying something given how big some dogs can get. But while you may be in awe of its massive size and its luxurious fur coat, you do need to be a little careful if you do try to make it a pet. These dogs were bred to be efficient guard dogs, and that makes them extremely territorial. Their size and coats were bred by the people of Tibet to be able to help them through the snow-filled regions of their homeland and to withstand the coldest of temperatures that they may have to endure. So this isn't exactly a dog that you'd want to have roaming around with you in places like California or Florida. In terms of size, they do tend to be over two feet tall, measuring from the feet to the shoulders, and they can be very heavy dogs as well. Females weigh anywhere from 70 to 120 pounds, and males can be in upwards of 90 to 150 pounds. So that's a lot of bulk that you're going to need to consider should you decide to get one. That being said, if you are able to get this dog and you're able to train it properly, you'll find yourself with a very loyal hound that'll stay by your side throughout your time together, which makes it a pretty great dog. The only real downside is that because of what it takes to breed and then get this dog, you'll be spending upwards of about $10,000. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The English Bulldog. And now for a very popular dog in certain circles, I present the English Bulldog. This dog has a short snout and a strong muscular build, and the breed's popular for its loose-skinned droopy face, which kind of makes it look lazy in the most adorable of ways. But just because it looks lazy doesn't mean that it is, or that you'll want to mess around with its bite, which it will do if you get too close at times. The English Bulldog is a sweet and gentle dog with a great disposition. It's dependable and predictable, and the Bulldog is a wonderful family pet and loving to most children. People oriented as a breed, they actively solicit human attention, and this makes them perfect for those who want a dog who is decidedly not lazy and instead wants to interact with them in a variety of ways. The other thing to note here is that if you want to, the English Bulldog can be a watchdog. Now sure, it may not look as imposing as something like a Doberman Pinscher or a Rottweiler, but they do have genes that will help them to watch out for danger, even having a tendency to go after unfamiliar dogs that they perceive as a threat. But considering that they're a somewhat low-maintenance dog, don't need a yard to move around in, and you can get one for just about $2,500 at the right place, you might just be tempted to try the English Bulldog out. Number 18. Samoyed Now you may think that some of the dogs I'm going to show you are just dogs that are so pretty or exotic that people ratchet up the price for them. Well, that's not altogether correct. In addition to looking great and perhaps being a great dog, some of these dogs are dogs that actually work for a living. And one of them is the Samoyed. Originally bred to hunt, haul sleds, and herd reindeer, the Samoyed dog breed proved a valuable companion for northwestern Siberia's Samoyed people. Among the breed's duties is pack hiking, tracking, and warming their owners by sleeping on top of them at night. And that right there shows that these dogs are worth the price of admission because they can potentially help their masters in a variety of ways when they're trained correctly.
So Moids can be strong-willed at times, but above all, they remain friendly, gentle, and devoted family dogs. They're affectionate with almost everyone, so long as new people don't mind some shedding and stray hairs on their clothing. Speaking of their fur coats, the Samoyed is one of several dog species that's revered for its beautiful white fur coat. Now granted, the shedding can be terrible, but considering the dog that you're getting, it's worth the trade-off in most cases. Furthermore, the Samoyed is one type of dog that absolutely loves to do everything. In fact, it prefers it. So if you're wanting a dog to be as active as you are, then the Samoyed is absolutely one that you'll want to try out. You know, if you have $14,000 to spend on it, that is. Number 17. Pharaoh Hound now, while it's true that many in Egyptian culture were primarily cat people, that didn't mean that dogs weren't around to help balance things out. There must always be balance, after all. In fact, the species known as the pharaoh hound was one that not only was with the rulers of Egypt in ancient times, but was also known as their primary hunting dogs. So good are they as a breed that many claim they haven't changed in 5,000 years. Most species evolve in one way or another during a span like that, but not this dog. The Pharaoh Hound has a remarkable personality that's characterized by an immense joy of life. It's intelligent and affectionate and takes life as it comes, enjoying clowning for his people. Not something you'd expect from a dog, but trust me when I say that this dog is full of tricks. And if you don't believe me, well, what if I told you that the Pharaoh Hound can actually blush? That's right, it has the ability to change the color of its nose when it's excited. Even its ears will change colors in the right emotion, and many owners actually train their pharaoh hounds to smile. Since this fun-loving breed enjoys smiling so much, it's not really that difficult of a trick to teach. So all in all, you'll have a dog that's loyal, loves to hunt, loves to play, will emote like few other dogs out there, and it does sound pretty perfect, doesn't it? However, the pharaoh hound is also known to bark a lot when it's left alone or it gets bored, and since you have to pay $7,500 for one, it's not a species that everyone should own. Number 16. Cavalier King's Charles Spaniel the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a very odd name for a dog, but it has a purpose behind that name that traces back to its true lineage, one that obviously goes back to Britain. Cavaliers are the best of two worlds, combining the gentle attentiveness of a toy breed with the fervor and athleticism of a sporting spaniel. The sweet, gentle, melting expression emanating from large, round eyes is the breed's hallmark. Another is its silky, richly colored coat that can be one of four distinct varieties. They're known to be a bit aristocratic, not unlike their many owners throughout history, no doubt, but they're also willing to play in the backyard of a house should you allow it. Though it may not look like it, this breed is big enough and fast enough to be a hunting dog. The thing is, though, it's honestly mostly known for its connection with the owner. They'll go around and play with them all day long should they be allowed to, and they actually prefer it over being alone. Plus, you can't really deny that these dogs are honestly pretty cute, and since they come in a variety of colors with their fur coats, you can find one that probably speaks to you in a large way. Now, if you're expecting a big price tag, you are in luck, as you can get one from anywhere between $1,800 to $3,500. That's obviously a lot of money for some people, but it's just a fraction of what the other dogs cost on this list. Number 15. Akita now, there's little doubt that many of you out there are familiar with the Akita species of dog. They're a popular species in Japan, and for a variety of reasons. Akitas are believed to be wise and bold dogs that are extremely protective about their owners, which is why the species is mostly referenced in regards to one particular dog, Hachiko. <laughs> 
This was a dog who was so loyal to its owner that every day he would go and walk with him to the train station and then watch him depart. Then the dog would simply wait for him to come home. He did this for a long time until one day the owner died while he was away at work. The dog didn't know, so it waited for his owner to come home, and the people of Japan were so moved by the dog's loyalty that they made a statue in his honor. Because while we as people always talk about the loyalty of a dog, this species may just take the kick. That being said, the breed loves outdoor spaces and can get frustrated and destructive if not given ample space to vent out its energy. So definitely keep that in mind if you try to get this one for yourself. If you do want to form a bond with such a dog, you'll need to shell out $4,000, but as the old saying goes, what price? Loyalty? That's how it goes, right? Number 14. Lochin the Lochin is an affectionate and loving dog, making an ideal family pet which is great with children. The breed is highly social and flourishes in the company of people, and that right there already makes it a breed that many people want to take in because they want a species that will not just interact with them, but also with any children that may get into the house. While you may not know about the Lochin yourselves, it's been very popular as a species overseas. In Europe, the dog has been popular for over 500 years, and in fact, the name Lochin is German for little lion. It got that name because it's known for being as brave as a lion when the need arises. Talk about a dog of many faces. Another reason for their little lion moniker is that they have a bunch of hair that resembles the mane of a lion. The coat comes in several colors and color combinations, and beneath that coat is a dog that's strong, sturdy, elegant, and artfully balanced. This may not be the dog species that you expected to like, but given all of its plus sides and how it's known to be incredibly kind to its family, this might just be the one that you choose. Are you waiting for the drawback? Well, here it comes. This dog's going to cost you a very small $12,000. Number 13. Afghan Hound the Afghan Hound is one that lives up to its name given where it comes from because if you couldn't guess, it is indeed a breed of dog that comes from the mountains of Afghanistan. But if you think that something that grew up in the mountains of a mainly desert country would be barren in terms of fur, you're dead wrong. The dog is widely regarded as one of the most beautiful dogs with their flowing coats and curly tails. They even require daily hair brushing because their long silky coats become tangled very easily. And for anyone with long hair, you know exactly why you never want your hair to be tangled. So please, go and take care of your Afghan hound, should you get one. The hounds have an average lifespan of 10 to 14 years, and their health conditions might end up costing you a lot more money than you originally shell out. They're known to get certain conditions like cataracts and hypothyroidism, which can cost an upwards of $3,000 alone just to treat, driving the price tag of this pup up even more. Now, that right there is something that people honestly forget. You're not just buying the dog, you're buying everything that comes along with it. Something to remember when you consider getting your next pet. And price is key when you consider getting an Afghan hound, as it costs about $7,000 per dog. Number 12. Doggo Argentino now there are all sorts of reasons for dog breeds to be made, but one of the most popular ones throughout the more modern eras of history was that of making a hunting dog, and one of the most popular and expensive in the realm of South America is that of the Doggo Argentino. First bred in 1928, the Doggo Argentino's main ancestors are the extinct Cordoba Fighting Dog and the Great Dane, showing you just what they prioritized in the making of this dog, being power and size. Because of their dominant physical traits, it's illegal to own in the UK, Colorado, and New York City, among other places of course. Is that a little bit odd? Well, perhaps, but there are many dog species that are banned in certain places of the world due to their supposed aggressive natures and physical abilities. 
The Doggo Argentino is a pack hunting dog, bred for the pursuit of big game like wild boar and puma, and it also possesses the strength, intelligence, and quick responsiveness of a serious athlete. That's right, you heard it correctly. This dog was bred to be an athlete, and they absolutely succeeded. The catch here is that the Doggo Argentino is one that's meant to be incredibly active. It doesn't do very well when it's not doing anything at all. So if you want to go and avoid unnecessary health costs, you're going to want to keep this dog moving around a lot, even if you don't take it hunting with you. And it's all at a measly cost of $8,000 to start. Number 11. Canadian Eskimo Dog in our world today, we have a serious problem. We have a lot of serious problems, actually, and a bunch of idiots aren't helping matters even more. But in terms of animal problems, the biggest issue is that of extinction. When animals go extinct, they're gone. But when it comes to dogs, you'd think that there aren't many species that are subject to that kind of end game, right? Well, you're wrong, because the Canadian Eskimo dog is one such dog that is dangerously close to extinction. As of 2018, it's said that there were less than 300 of these dogs left in the world. They were brought to North America from Siberia more than 1,000 years ago and have been decreasing in numbers ever since the 1960s. But what has happened to cause such a decline? Well, do you really have to ask? It was people but more specifically, Canadians. Now you thought Canada was a friendly country through and through, right? Well, you're wrong. At one point, they killed over 20,000 of these dogs just to, quote, disrupt their way of life. And the species has never made it back from that killing spree. Though to be honest, this dog is not exactly the best family pet because they have pre-existing conditions and serious health issues. They're also easily agitated and are known to overreact to small things happening within their space. However, if you would like to have a Canadian Eskimo dog for yourself, hopefully to help save the species, you can get one for just $8,750. Number 10. Rottweiler Ah, the Rottweiler, by and large one of the most popular dog breeds in the world, especially in places like the United States. These dogs have a presence to them that simply can't be ignored, and that goes double for when they're a dog that's chasing you down for one reason or another. Now, some of you out there might be going, well, wait a minute, I got a Rottweiler and it wasn't that expensive, and that may be true. Many times you can get this dog for a lowish price of under $2,000, but the reason the Rottweiler's on this list is due to the fact that the dog is known to have health issues that greatly increase its overall price during its lifespan. No, really, the breed is extremely susceptible to almost every single disease or condition that a dog can get, which especially includes hip and joint issues. That's why their pet insurance claims are the highest among any other breed. That's something they obviously don't tell you when you're selecting one to bring home. That being said, if you can look past all of that and look more at how loyal and protecting the Rottweiler is, you'll find yourself with a great dog with a price tag overall of about $9,000. Number 9. Azavak from one of the more common breeds, we now head to a breed that's honestly rather new in the dog world. The Azavak is a dog that was bred all the way back in 2019. That's right, they're still breeding new dogs. Hailing from West Africa, they were mainly used as hunting dogs and are distinct relatives to Middle Eastern and South Indian hounds. The reason you likely have never heard of this dog before is because of where it's bred and the fact that the American Kennel Club has only finally recognized it as a species very recently, and it's had a small period of time to make a name for itself but it is slowly getting the word out. Another interesting fact about the Azavak is that they can live for a long time, if you keep them healthy, they're able to reach up to 15 years in life. Plus, they're great exercise partners, as they'll only work out when their masters are with them. If you do need to get in shape, that is. The Azavak might help you do that for just $9,500. Number 8. Chow Chow 
Now, I'm not talking about dog food, I'm talking about the dog itself, specifically one of the oldest and most rare breeds in all of the world today. But wait, there's more. It's also a dog that's incredibly expensive to own in regards of first-time purchases and what you do when you have the dog itself. You're going to rack up bills for food, treats, vet bills, grooming, health issues, and more, which can total around $11,000 over their lifespan. Oh, and if you think I'm done there, you're not even close, because these dogs are ones that absolutely need exercise, and you're instructed to walk them up to four times a day. Four, F-O-U-R. Who has that kind of time or energy outside of hermits? They're also stubborn like a mule, so any attempt to train them is going to be difficult, to say the least. Given that this is one of the oldest dog species, you might just be better off looking at some of the newer models. Number seven, St. Bernard. The St. Bernard is one of the most recognizable and beloved dogs in the whole world, not the least of which is because they're so huge and fluffy that you can't help but cuddle with them when you meet one. Plus, the movie Beethoven starred a beautiful St. Bernard, and that made it so much more recognizable. The dog was bred to be a rescue dog along the Swiss Alps, helping stranded people in a variety of ways. And no, that doesn't include bringing them a big old barrel of brandy. That's actually a myth. But what's not a myth is that this is a very lovable and kind dog, and so spending the measly amount of $1,500 to get one is actually a steal. Number 6. Irish Wolfhound the Irish Wolfhound has an origin that's very easy to discern because it's a dog that has a whole lot of meaning to the country of Ireland. It was bred to pursue game and be a guard dog and is particularly good at hunting and protection against wolves. Hence why it is a wolfhound, because this is one of the few dogs that can truly go up against a wolf and survive. And that in and of itself is no small feat. Speaking of small, these dogs are absolutely not that in any way, shape, or form. They're almost three feet tall at the shoulders and are known to be about 150 pounds, so small they are not. Despite the fact that they can run at great speeds, most of their actions around the house are in a decidedly slow fashion, and they're definitely not the easiest to train. They will eventually, mind you, just at their own pace. Keep that in mind as you spend around $3,000 to get one. Number 5. Black Russian Terrier the Black Russian Terrier is a large, immensely powerful worker of heavy bone and coarse all-black coat. BRTs are known for their courage, confidence, and intelligence, and not surprising given their size where they were bred, they were meant to be guard dogs and aren't the best around strangers because their instincts will kick in. <coughs> Also due to the area in which they were bred, the Black Russian Terrier's coat is able to allow it to survive in all sorts of cold weather areas, making it something of a cold beast in and of itself. But despite it weighing about 140 pounds and having a thick fur coat, it's a dog that's actually rather agile and quick-footed, if even nimble. So despite being made by the USSR and being valued at over $3,500, you can see why some people would be interested in trying this dog out. Number four, Portuguese Water Dog. So we've already shown you a lot of dogs that were bred to help hunters and big game collectors, but have you ever heard of a dog that was meant to help fishermen? If not, you're about to. The bright and biddable Portuguese water dog was bred to be an all-around fisherman's helper, complete with having fur that doesn't shed so much and allows the dog to move through the water without much issues. So again, a perfect fisherman's helper. It also helps that they're a very easily trainable canine and they're ones to always try and please their master. As if all of that wasn't enough, they can live up to 14 years, and that's a lot of time to catch a whole lot of fish. 
Now I'll admit that they do have rather curious looking fur at times, which includes having coloring in places that you may not expect, or going from dense fur to no fur in no time fast. Overall though, for $5,000, you may just end up getting a very helpful dog. Number 3. French Bulldog now, if you thought the English had a monopoly on bulldogs, just perish the thought. The French bulldog is the result of a cross between English bulldogs imported from England and Parisian ratters. This one-of-a-kind French bulldog with his large bat ears and even disposition is one of the world's most popular small dog breeds, especially among city dwellers. The Frenchie is a playful, alert, adaptable, and completely irresistible dog to many, which is a winning combination when you're trying to make money off of a dog. <laughs> One of the reasons that people love these dogs so much is that they're adaptable. Specifically, they're willing to adapt to whoever raises them. And it's good with singles, couples, families, and so on. And they don't actually talk much, but they're very expressive. They'll also mix well with other animals, so it's a good dog to get should you have other pets in your home. All of that being said, they are a bit costly, with some being valued at up to $6,000. Number 2. Saluki the Saluki is a classic dog species and are actually the mascots of certain colleges for reasons that are about to be very apparent. Among the world's oldest breeds, the slim but rugged Saluki was the hunting hound of kings for thousands of years. Salukis are swift and agile sprinters who love a good chase. They also make gentle, dignified, and independent but loyal pets, something that many people will no doubt find attractive. They're very impressive dogs when you look at their size and may not be the weightiest dogs around, but males can be over two feet tall. Furthermore, despite what their fur coats look like, they're dogs that can easily adapt to all sorts of climates. A word of caution though, while Salukis are known to be great pets, they have their own challenges that make them something to watch out for, and it doesn't really help that they cost about $5,500. Number 1. Bedlington Terrier Now not surprisingly, the Bedlington Terrier was a dog that was originally made to do one thing, hunt rats. Something we can all appreciate on some level, I'm sure. However, eventually, the love for the dog grew so much that it became a breed frequently seen in various dog shows. They come with a very unique set of fur colorings and are known to be great pets for children. Rollicking, charming, and full of fun, Bedlingtons want most to be their family's center of attention and are known to be protective of loved ones. For an active family looking for a nose-shedding, lively, and loyal companion, the search might end here for the dog of your dreams. Now sure, the dog costs $4,000, but the perks do seem to far outweigh any downsides, don't you think? Were you surprised by how much a single dog from one of these beloved breeds costs? Do you know someone who honestly paid that price to get one of them? And do you know another expensive dog breed that could have been on this list? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.